Do I look scary? No. I am the mother Power Ranger. <laughs> We are going to head to the Dollar Tree. We need to get some Halloween decorations for our haunted house that we're making for our Shopkins. Yeah, put it on the right way. Let's see what it looks like, buddy. That is such a cute jacket, huh? That's cute. This, 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 this. <laughs> hey guys, we are getting ready to go to the Dollar Tree, the craft store, and oh, the post office. Um, but I was just finishing watering my garden, and I wanted to ask if any of you are gardeners or have knowledge about gardening. I we have two spaghetti squash growing and they started growing like probably two months ago and they haven't got any bigger so I guess I'm curious if I should just pick them and they're really small or do I let them keep growing although they don't appear to be growing but so if any of you know I'll show you in just a sec so here is this one I mean it's just only as big as my hand and then here is the other one and so yeah we are heading into the post office to send our things away i'm really bummed um about the the shipping rate what am i trying to say um i just don't really know what to do i i wish i would have researched a little bit more and looked into what it would be like to send things to australia um i guess i thought it was going to be expensive but in my head i was thinking like 40 dollars um and it's actually going to be like close to a hundred dollars like the actual toy swap itself we had a budget of forty dollars so it just seems silly to spend like over double of what the package is worth and i'm not sure what to do i feel really really terrible anyways we're at the dollar tree now and my throat's hurting really bad and my voice is like going out kind of but we need to go get the things that we need for um a toy video that we're doing just a few little things and household items so ali what are you dressing up as a pretty witch a pretty witch oh yes let me see you you are a pretty witch i'm getting so excited for all of this halloween stuff we were hoping that dollar tree had some halloween stuff out but they don't so we came to the craft store and just getting a couple uh i don't know a few decorations for our toy video um that's going to have like a haunted mansion ride at the amusement park. So we gotta um, dress it up all haunted. Let me see your face. <laughs> well, you look beautiful. All right, so we got what we needed at the Dollar Tree and craft store. And I talked to the girl we were doing the swap with and she also was not aware of how much it was going to cost, so. She said they were still willing to do it and she mentioned maybe we could send less but our package wasn't really that big and who I talked to at FedEx actually said that even sending documents to Australia is like 40 bucks. So um, yeah, I think we're probably just going to have to cancel it and it seems like they are very understanding. I'm just bummed because I know that they're still willing to do it but I don't know, next time I'm just gonna have to be really careful before committing to something and, you know, looking into all of the details. So, I definitely learned from that. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I decided to prepare tonight's chicken for our dinner. Um, I made this recipe up a long time ago when I was trying to find something to go with like some Asian side dishes and it's basically just kind of like a sticky chicken, I guess you would call it, I don't really know. But let me just, it's, let me show you guys real quick. So I just have a glass dish, baking dish here, and I'm gonna put about 
Um, I guess that's probably two tablespoons of olive oil. You, that's about half a cup of vinegar. And then I have soy sauce and a few, a few tablespoons, I think. <laughs> Some brown sugar, probably a third of a cup. And then I have five cloves of garlic and I have it loosely chopped. And then just some salt and pepper. And then just a little bit of ground ginger, probably a teaspoon. And then I just use frozen chicken. This is just a really quick dish. So I have these frozen chicken tenderloins. So now I'm just gonna cover this. I'm gonna put this in my refrigerator for about four to five hours. And after that, I will just take it out, put foil over the top and bake it at mm, 325 for about 30 to 40 minutes. Bye. Not now, you guys. All right, guys, got my headphones in. I am going to meditate and take a little nap. Um, I'm feeling kind of feverish but I do not have a fever, so I don't know. My body must just be fighting something off. So yeah, Ali is asleep and I will be asleep pretty quick here, I'm sure. Did you nap good? You're, yeah. all, you're all sweaty. Daddy's home. <laughs> and it was too dark to see him. He's starting to be creepy. So Allie is picking tomatoes for our dinner. This is gonna go into the pasta with feta, zucchini, onion. That's probably all, oh and kale. Dinner is almost done and Hans and Alistair are almost home. Uh, oh that chicken, I just tasted it and holy moly. I forgot how good that recipe was, it's so good. But All right, they're here, here and here fly. is the finished pasta. All right, here is dinner. Sticky chicken, pasta, and some bread. Come Lord Jesus, be our guest. This, this food to us be blessed. Amen. Good job, bud. Wow, you got a lot of toys laid out. Take oh, you always want to take baths. I really love my family. <laughs> Good night, lovies. Good night, lovies. Good night, love. Please, it's sweet me. Oh, wow. What a cute little face. Oh, Dad, why are you trying to ruin it? I'm just sleeping.